Welcome back to another benchmarking video with the Acorp 6A815 EPD motherboard. Today I've got the Pentium 3 processors out of this board and got the Tualatins in it. These Tualatins are a little bit special in that they've already got a custom made adapter attached to them. This adapter allows for these processors to work in 370 motherboards that weren't initially supporting the Tualatin processor. Running these processors on a BX board would still be uh, a little bit of an issue because of the voltage requirements not being able to go down quite low enough. These processors here are of course the 1.4 gigahertz and the uh, adapter. It, it does add a little bit of thickness to it but not by much. I'm probably going to decapitate these at some point and actually run a raw dog on a heat sink. Take a look at uh, 3D Mark 2000 here. You can see that uh, the Profit 3 video card is scoring 8447 with these and 9140 with the 7800GS. A heck of a bump there. Uh, previous score was 6258 and 6262, so they were pretty much dead even at that point. Three D Mark 2001, we're getting a 6187 and a whopping 11,675 for the G4 7800 GS. A whopping increase there. Uh, previously, the 7800 was pulling an 8340 on this board and a 5019 for the GeForce th uh, 3 there. So you can see that there was a bit of an improvement going to these 400 megahertz worth of Tualatins here over the 1 gigahertz Pentium 3s. 3D Mark 2000. And while Quake 2 is definitely not SMP aware, you can see that we got a heck of a boost in that game as well. 273 for the Profit 3 and uh, 332 for the 7800 GS, uh, which makes it about 100 frames, actually, actually makes it exactly 100 frames per second faster now than it was previously. The previous score was 232 for the 7800 GS and 204 for the Profit 3. So we got about 70 frames per second increase here, but there definitely is uh, becoming a bottleneck with the Profit 3 at this point. Uh, I think that card is probably better suited for uh, 1 gigahertz to 1.2, I would say, from what I'm seeing in these benchmarks. Quake 3 non-SMP, you can see that we uh, are getting basically an identical score between these two video cards. And previous score was 97 and 95, so again we got a healthy bump there. But once we switch to SMP, on the other hand, you'll see that the GeForce 3 isn't doing any faster. Previous score was 135 for that card, so we got a healthy increase there as well. And 113 with the uh, Profit 3 prior, so we got a still boost there. But uh, you can see the Profit 3 is definitely hitting the wall now with these processors. So like I said, 1 gigahertz to 1.2 I think is where that video card it would uh, be about optimal for. Now I'm going to take a look at Unreal Tournament here again. And Unreal Tournament, as it turns out, well, I was laboring under a little bit of a false misconception. Uh, it is not SMP aware from what I can tell. Uh, even though there's a lot of posts that say, yeah, it is, and there's a lot of posts that say, no, it's not. Uh, the truth of the matter is, it doesn't look to me like it is. Even though running it here, you can see I've got the CPU utilization pulled up on the screen. It is uh, tickling both processors there while it's running. However, if you take a look at the actual CPU usage there, you can see that the dips in performance or utilization of the first processor correspond identical to the spikes on the second processor. And I actually notice this with Quake 2, believe it or not. And so I think all that the operating system is doing is bouncing a single thread between both processors, which would lead you to think that it's multi-threaded, but it's really not. So we're getting a minimum frame rate now of 32. Previously we were getting 25 and 26. Maximum has jumped up by a pretty healthy amount. We're doing 85 and 84. Previous score was 61 and 62 for these video cards. And uh, the average is a little bit under 60, but pretty close to 60. That's definitely good enough. 53 and 54. I don't know why these two cards are one frame per second difference. It really shouldn't be, but that's what it turned out to be, and I was rounding these, by the way, so that's just what it is.
previous average was 41 and 42. So you can see we got about a 12 frame per second increase. Not a whole lot on the average there, but a little bit of a boost anyway. Unreal Tournament is CPU bound, and I also think at this point it's definitely becoming RAM bound as well. Possibly bus bound a little bit too, but I think definitely RAM is playing a factor here. One gigahertz or faster, that's kind of what my theory is on that. So as you can see, the GeForce 3 is pretty much out of steam at this point. I would say that video card is probably best left to a single Tualatin um, 1.2, I would say. That's probably where I'm going to guess it tops out at. Uh, talking about this speed and faster, probably start one looking at the uh, GeForce 4s and higher in that case. But that card's good up to, I'm going to say, at least a 1 gigahertz processor, AMD or uh, Intel. See, this has been a fun experiment. This has definitely proven to be a reliable motherboard. And uh, I'm quite happy with it. It was only a $25 purchase with processors. And that was actually about the same or just a couple dollars more than the pair of Pentium 3s by themselves. So uh, this was a good find. This is a good board. And uh, it may become the replacement for the P2BDS. I'm not sure yet. I'd like to really have that one working because I like the idea of having kind of the ultimate slot one. But uh, if I can't get stability out of that thing, then it's kind of not going to work for me. Uh, of course, I've got the VP6 I'm going to be taking a look at here in the near future. And uh, this is also a good board. have absolutely had no issues with it whatsoever. And I've also got another Tussle 2C board that I'm going to take a look at. That's got a custom BIOS already installed on it, which is pretty cool. We'll compare that board to this board. Let's see what the performance is at least on single threaded applications see how this board's actually doing as far as you know overall performance compared to a single Tualatin the Tussle 2C which is in my opinion one of the ultimate uh, Tualatin socket 370 boards that were made yeah good board not a common board and the ones that I see on eBay frequently well Recently, I shouldn't say frequently, but recently, there are people are wanting like 150 bucks for these boards. I'm like, really? It's it's not worth that. Twenty five dollars though. <laughs> I I that's why I jumped on it. So anyway, take care, guys. Peace out. See you again right here on the Wayback Tech Channel.